You're watching Telecom TV from the SDN NFE World Congress in The Hague. And joining me now is Ahmed Ijaz, Strategy Principal at Ericsson. Ahmed, good to see you on Telecom TV. Thanks, Guy. We're going to be talking about becoming a digital service provider and the drivers and the needs and the evolution of approaches for CSPs to achieve this. What, in your view, are the most pressing imperatives that are driving this digital evolution and transformation? The biggest opportunity or the biggest imperative that's come along is 5G. And it's because it's almost like a god of second chances for telecom operators because it affords you, because of its fundamental capabilities around massive capacities, massively ultra low latencies, massive connectivities, uh, massive support for new business models, uh, it, it, it offers you a chance to grow into new markets. So I would just share a number, and this number is being worked upon uh, for a, a revised version is coming along from Ericsson. But in, in, in the past years, Ericsson has forecasted that operators globally would ru can roughly address about $1.5 uh, uh, trillion dollars in 5G-enabled solutions revenue. And of those, uh, they can address directly 700 uh, billion uh, of those revenues. So from 1.5, trillion dollars of global revenues that 5G enables in industry solutions, operators can potentially uh, benefit from an addressable market of about 700 billion dollars. What that really means is, in the coming years, if you see the global telco industry would probably have around two trillion dollars of revenues globally. And this additional 700 billion dollars opportunity is roughly a 35% added growth potential for them. So I would say this is a huge opportunity that's come along. It's a huge growth potential, um, considering w where we've been the past few years. Yeah. Um, so I in order to achieve this, what technical technology evolution approach do you envisage? Absolutely, so really, you know, as a first thing, this translates into the need uh, to create value at a very staggering rate. So the need for agility, and you know, many of the surveys that Ericsson has uh, conducted this year point to the fact that operators are increasingly looking at uh, building uh, service agility capabilities. Their key business driver is service agility, more so than cost in the previous years. And we also forecast that in the coming years, this service agility focus is going to graduate into an even more bigger focus on business agility, which is on-demand customer uh, networks and on-demand customer uh, capabilities that you can potentially expose and lay out over, over an API. So as we focus on this technology transformation, how important is it also to build out operating and, and cultural readiness? The right kind of operating model is essentially, uh, many operators have learned, uh, maybe the hard way, that it has to be almost the pre-thought and not an afterthought. You start with the right operating model to ensure that your organization is capable, is automated, is intelligent, is fast enough to cope with the pace of technology. You're going to invest into technology, but you at the same time need to ensure that your operation is agile, is operationally efficient, is intelligent, and some of the learnings that we've had from our recent experiences worldwide point to the fact that OPEX is more sensitive to transformation than CAPEX. It's because it's harder, it's easier to invest into technology, but it's harder to change an organization. And so typically we see that a good period, OPEX typically peaks about six to 12 months from when the CAPEX peaks in a transformation, and that points to the fact that if it lingers from there, if the long tail of operational transformation lingers on, that may point to a failed operational transformation, and hence it's so important that you plan your operational transformation very well. Uh, and also you mentioned cultural and skills uh, shift, and I would say that it's a topic that many leaders in the industry are very excited about. It's because uh, skill set shift, mindset shift is so critical for bringing about this change and becoming competitive. 
Uh, yet, we find that many of our customers and global operators, by undertaking a few steps, uh, they've, in Agile, so for example, by having a, a DevSecOps process or an Agile process, by getting some teams to work with each other, by procuring some tools, they already start to think that they're being Agile. But it's, being Agile is very different from doing Agile. And I think being Agile means that you have uh, that Agile mindset across the management and your employee organization. You have intent-based management. Uh, you have continuous learning. You have employee engagement. And all of that can almost double the benefits from cultural transformation compared with if you just do those basic steps. Mm. Ahmed, great insight, and there's a lot there for service providers to digest, but thank you so much for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you for having me.